All right, so today is Trigger Pull Thursday, and a, a nice treat that I found goes well together are the Fruit Loops over on the left. Let's see if I can get a pointer. Yeah. So right there, we have Fruit Loops, and they go very well with Michelob Ultra. So today we're going to take a look at this Taurus 38 Special. I usually keep this in this Bianchi number 8L holster. Really nice belt slide. And it says it's the Shadow and S&W Chief was what it was made for. But any 2 inch revolver really works good in this. Speaking of holsters, I got a couple of these off of Amazon and they are called Barsoni and they are out of Beaverton, Oregon and the first one these are pocket holsters and on Amazon they're listed for I think it's an SP 101 3 inch but they really fit good on a 3 inch or this 2 inch really nice a little bit of overhang there but excellent pocket holster that's the Barsoni holsters and belts and they were so nicely priced that I got a black one too it's another Barsoni for a pocket holster these are really really nice they don't move around very much and one other thing that I just received to try out is this it's a new scale and it is a kitchen aid and it's got this uh, dial right down there which is pretty cool they usually just have uh, pressure switches and I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna use this is a copper five ounce square just to see if it's accurate okay that looks like it's 5.0 right on the nose and I'm gonna check one more this is a copper made in the USA and it is one pound one pound right there and that's copper bullion Okay, so that is really accurate. Right on the money. And the reason I got this thing out was just to weigh this Taurus Ultralight. It is empty. Unloaded. See how much this Ultralight weighs. That is one pound, 0 0.5 ounces. So that's like 16 ounces, probably 17 and a half loaded. So that's a nice little scale. And I am going to be loading it up with 38 special snap caps. So I can do a trigger pull on it. These are the orange tip snap caps. They work really good. And I've been out shooting this thing. I put about 100 rounds through it. And I always like to do the trigger pull after I uh, break, it, break it in more. Now the single action has always been good. I'm going to try the double action. It's really been pretty hard. Once you get it going though, if you know what you're doing, you can keep it on target. It's probably, oh gosh, it's got to be about 9 or 10 pounds. I'm going to try it anyway. And I'm going to be using the Lyman electronic gauge. Ready to go for double action. It's going to be high. Okay, it says 9.43 pounds. I'm going to try that once again. 
see if I can actually get it to pull. So I got that to pull at 9.76 ounces. That's pretty heavy, but if you know what you're doing, you can control it. Let's try the single action, which has always been pretty good. All right, let's try a single action. Okay, so that did not register. Let's try again. Okay, so that was two pounds, 14.8 ounces, which is always pretty nice. Let's try one more. Two pounds, 10.5 ounces. Try one more. Two pounds, 13.9 ounces. Let's see if I can get an average. It says two pounds, 13, which is really nice. Under three pounds, anytime you get an under three pound revolver, that's nice. And this little Taurus, is actually an ultra light and you can see it was made in Brazil imported to Miami Florida 38 special not 357 so that is trigger pull Thursday definitely deserves just a little cowbell Knock a bump.